Cheers. Cheers. Hi, I'm Pam Lasky with Maine Foodie Tours, and I'm here with Ed Stebbins, co-owner, co-founder, and brewmaster at Gritty's on 4th Street in the Old Park. I'm having a great day on the job, as you can see. <laughs> and we're here at the beautiful Copper Bar upstairs at Gritty's, and we're looking at all these beautiful mugs. Ed, tell us about the Mug Club. Well, Gritty's Mug Club is a social drinking club where members join by paying $70 a year and they get the use of the mug for a year. Um, we've been doing it for 20 years now and as you can see it's a very popular mug club and we've had several members who have been in the mug club for 20 years now. Wow. The reason why the mug clubs are so popular is you get a 20 ounce mug and you get a 20 ounce beer for the price of a 16 ounce beer and you win all kinds of awards year in and year out. Of course, we don't need to take just your word for this on it because you've got a wall of best of awards over here. Yes, we're not that modest. We like <laughs> to show off our achievements, man. I would too. I would too. <laughs> so here we are in the brewery where guests on the tour love the opportunity to talk to the brewmasters about how they, how they make their fine beer. So Ed, tell us a little bit about what makes the beer so damn good. Oh, I'd be happy to, Pam. <laughs> Um, beer is basically comprised of four main ingredients. Water, which is 98% of the beer. And here at Gritty's, we're blessed with good, clean, cold water from Sebago Lake. Mm -hmm. um, another ingredient in beer is hops. And hops are a vine. And hops give beer its characteristic bitterness and aroma. And I'm holding some Golding's hops from Washington State. Mm. And these are leaf hops that have been dried and we add these to the brew, to, as I said before, to give it beer its characteristic bitterness and aroma. You can see mm. that they smell very perfumey it's very and very yes. nice. Mm -hmm. And also we import our grains, barley, malted barley, from England. And I have here some pale barley malt mm. in my hand. And typically you would do exactly that, mm -hmm. Pam. You mm -hmm. just take a piece and put it in your mouth and break it up. And you can taste that lovely nutty barley flavor. Mm. It is. It's very and nutty. And the malty. barley is the is the body of the beer. Hops can be considered the soul of the beer. Nice. And the barley can be considered the body of the beer. And one of the reasons that that Gritty's beers are unique is that we import our barley from England, and we use all English barley in our beers. And the fourth ingredient that goes into beer is brewer's yeast, mm -hmm. and each brewery exhibits a unique strain of brewer's yeast, and you could call it the beer's signature. Okay. And we pump the beer into this tank, and we add yeast into the tank, and that's where fermentation takes place. And fermentation is the process of yeast breaking down the sugars, and it releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, and alcohol into the beer. And fermentation is what makes beer an alcoholic beverage. Can you talk to us a little about trends in brewing these days? Sure. Um, our most recent beer, and we're very excited to brew it, is Red Claws Ale. Mm -hmm. And we're brewing it in collaboration with the Portland uh, Red Claws. Excellent. Which is a part of the NBA's developmental league, and it is uh, affiliated with the Boston Celtics. Nice. And most people in Portland are big Celtics fans. True. Including myself. Yes, and me. So we're <laughs> very excited to brew a beer for them. And it's a brown ale, okay. um, which I like to call a session beer, because they're usually lower in alcohol, but very full flavored beers. And um, we brewed it specially for the Red Claws, and so far it's been a huge hit. Wow, so they can enjoy a Gritty's Ale at the game? Exactly, or Excellent. they can come to, and if they enjoyed it at the game, they can come and sample it at our pub. We're also selling it in 22 ounce bottles in supermarkets all around the greater Portland. Oh, fantastic, that's great, good news.